In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a powerful drop, like from this. To this. Firstly I will get a simple saw wavetable synth. One of the easiest way to make your lead interesting is to use modulations. For example, to get a vibrato effect, I will modulate the pitch. With effect plugins, I will try to give the lead more character. With EQ, I will remove the frequencies which are usually used by the bass and chords. Low passing will give some rooms for your cymbals and percussions. Now, some soft saturations to add extra frequencies to the lead. It can help the lead to sound more fuller and warmer. Now I will add multiband compressor to control the tone, especially when the lead's notes are changing in the larger range. And of course, I can shape the tone. A small portamento can help the lead to sound more natural. Now. I'm going to add an extra EQ to remove unwanted frequencies added from the saturation and compression. After all these tone shapings, 
Now I will use a free third party plugin, that is Dimension Expander. For me, it's one of the best stereo imaging plugins retaining the mono compatibility in its place. And finally, a side chain effect. Now here is my another trick that I use. Creating vibrato can also make your lead sound more fatter and fuller. Because, when the pitch of the lead changes, it fills more frequencies in the spectrum, and that's how you perceive more fuller sound in lead. Even a subtle change in pitch can bring life to your lead. Vibrato gives the best result when you put reverb on it. Let's compare the lead with vibrato and without vibrato. Once again, and this time focus on the reverb. One more interesting trick that producers use these days is, automating the vibrato. Have fun creating your own lead. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.